go. Secret agents over here, they got the new glasses. Uh, they're probably 2014 glasses. Oh, that's what's going on. I didn't oh. see them when I. My bad. My bad. Well, hey, sorry we interrupted something what's going, going on, on in here, here, but you might as well say good morning. Good morning. Glad, to have everybody. Glad to have everybody. Glad to have everybody. Do we have any visitors this morning? First time being here. We're so excited to have you. You're our good guest. Good morning. You're our guest. Happy to have you this morning. Well, hey, listen, we just want to talk about, you know, we're we're secret people, we're secret agents. We want to just have a, you know, pay attention, look at what's going on. You probably didn't even see us come in. We're, we're skilled at what we're doing, right? You don't try it at home. Agent R, how long have you been doing this? Uh, about 10, 12 years. Hey, hey Rook, you're a uh, you're still rookie, right? Why do you keep on calling me rookie? Rookie is five years and less. I've been doing oh. this for at least five and a half. That's right, that's right, that's right. So in, in, in the spider Monkey move, you're the you're the best one doing yeah. that. So like Sorry about that, Rook. So don't don't try this stuff at home, that's what we're trying to say. We've been doing this for a very long time. Some of it could be dangerous. Don't try it at home. And like I was saying, pay attention here, because we got secret agents everywhere, spies everywhere, and if you're not careful, you might miss something. They're really sneaky. You know, agent agent R, and I'm agent C. You ever heard of uh, RC Cola, RC Cars? It comes from us, you know? RC, we made a name for it. Whose shoe is that? See, that's what I'm talking about. You gotta, be, you gotta watch. I don't even know if that, that nice young lady even knew that her shoe was taken. Did you know, ma'am? See, you gotta, you gotta pay attention to you. You gotta pay attention. All time. Well, hey, we were gonna do the uh, spider monkey. You guys wanna see the spider monkey? This is top secret, you can't tell anybody about it. But you wanna see the spider monkey move? Yeah. Oh. What was that? Uh, Alright, well like I was saying, you cannot tell anybody about this move. It's top secret. And this is what we use when there's pressure sensitive floors. When you gotta get in, you gotta get above the laser beam. You gotta be very careful, right? This is what I call spider monkey. We've been trying this for years, so don't try this at home. Are you ready? I'm ready. Agent R. Ready. Last, time, last time you dropped me. It's probably those glasses you keep on wearing. We're inside. Why are you wearing glasses? We're inside. Oh. Spider monkey. That's it. That's it, that's a spider monkey. Look, I'm not touching the ground. Look. 
Oh no, you did it again.
parents, let's see you join in with the kids. Use this and your mission will succeed. 4. 
Remember the word works. If you work it, this message will self-destruct in 10, 9, 8, 7, Hit the best! 5, 4, <laughs> I rejoice at your word as one who finds great treasure, right? All right, let's try again. Let's try again. Ah! Ow! God. Lord. I thought we did it right, right? It makes sense. You must believe in speaker secret weapon one more time. Only this time we need your help. Psalm 119. Oh, come on. Psalm 119. Psalm 119. 162. 162. I rejoice at your word. I rejoice at your word. As one who finds great treasure. As one who finds great treasure. Can you add again. it this time? Try again. All right. Come on. Ah! You, you. Nice entrance. Whew. Almost broke a sweat. I still don't get it. What are we? What are we supposed to do? I don't get it. I don't understand. I know. We use our secret weapon. Yeah. No. Psalm one nineteen one six six two. I don't know what's wrong. I'm not sure. Just God, give me a sign. Give me a sign. Give me something. Please, pretty please, with the cherry on top. Very on top, not the middle, on the top. Ooh, and some chocolate sprinkles. Just I don't something. get it. What are we something, missing? Something is going to be here, I, I promise. Hot fudge? You want hot fudge? Me too. You should go to Biffy's after this. What are we missing? I guess that was a sign. Uh, I'm not sure. It has to be here. What part of the word are we missing? Let's think. Um, I got it. 
We need to rejoice. Yeah. We need to rejoice. Yeah. Yeah. Rejoicing has a sound. Rejoice. Rejoice. Oh. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes. Try it now. They say try it now. Let's try. It, it works. You're doing right now.
whatever you got to do. No, you're just going to wrap them up. So let's get your duct tape on. Y'all get the kick of Malachi and Madeline, come right back over here.
I think my age is built on me. Uh, your mission is, do you know how to make an ice cream sundae? What do you do? Tell me how you make an ice cream sundae. The cream cone, the baby cube, the cream, the ice cream, and then put it on the ice cream. What we're going to do, our mission is you got to make a human ice cream sundae. you got to take it, drop the ice cream in her mouth. And these are, they're going to help you. Hold it up. All right, are y'all ready? Maya, do you know what to do, Maya? Jeremiah, you know what to do? You know how to make an ice cream, don't you, baby? Get that ice cream in his mouth. Get him sprinkled, chocolate syrup. You got to get some whipped cream and throw a cherry on top, okay? All right, guys, you all ready to cheer them on? All right, let's. Stand up, Maya. Stand up, Maya. Stand up. All right, ready? Go. Mission ice cream now. Complete it.
Whoa. Whoa, that was weird. Whoa. Where? Caleb, where? Where are we? Oh, uh, oh, it's... Excuse me, ma'am, can you uh, tell me what's going on here? What's, going, what's everyone all dressed up for? What, what year is this? Church? Church? What year is this? What? T 2014? What's going on here? What's everybody all dressed up for? Super Kid Sunday? Spy, spy, spy kids. kids. Oh. Spy kids. Whoa. whoa. That's crazy. What, before, before I talk about spy kids. This is man, this, heavy. This thing is heavy. Woo. Can we get... Can we just get two two people, please? Just Woo! two of these chairs, Woo! two of these things, whatever you know, these chairs, and put them up here for us. Gosh, yeah, yeah. this thing is heavy. Yeah, it's right there. Quick, quick, somebody, please. Oh, it's super heavy, super please. heavy. Woo! Wow. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh. So Woo! this is Spy Kids Sunday. That is crazy because we're spies. We were just in the middle. of talking to Moses about the land we were spying out. Oh, yeah, good land, good land. Like uh, Joshua just said, we we're over there in the land that God has promised us. Is, and God is good, is always good. Anything that's good is God. It's not good, it's not God. And he's promised that land. It is our land. So, so like I was saying, we were in the middle of a good report. Amen. Man, we were telling Moses about all the blessings, we actually saw these blessings that God had promised us in the promised land. We were in the, I mean, before that storm, literally, we were talking to Moses, you know, sand, dirt, and I don't know where we are now. But that's what I'm saying. We were in the middle of a good report. Where are we? And I can't just stop in the middle of a good report. Caleb, Amen. No. can you, I can't stop. Can't stop. Good report. So continue we've got that to, going. We've got to continue this good report. So let us tell you about Everything God has promised God is and good. blessed us God with. God is so good. Man. Anything that God has said it will come true. Anything that you believe in faith and have in your heart will come true. There will people be out there that they'll say that you can't have, you can't do. Like the other ten spies out there that said, we can't defeat the giants, we can't take that land. There's too many of them, we're not strong enough. That's, we believe in our heart that that's our, our land. Amen. That is our property. Amen. So, man, I think those other ten spies just weren't looking at the promise the same way, right? We've got faith eyes. We've got faith eyes. We can see things different than other people, just like you've got spy glasses. Some of these other people in here without spy glasses, they can't see things that you guys can see, Amen. right? So right. we've got faith eyes. We can look at God's word and see different things than people that might not believe his word. Yes. And we know that what we read, his big, promises, big. they are big. true. And we can see them. We can see them with our faith eyes. We can see them come alive, right? Amen. We can see them with our eyes. We can believe it. And we good. can receive good. his promises because they are true. That's good. Amen. That's, that's, uh, reminds me of scripture, uh, Proverbs um, 11, 24, 25, I believe it is. Uh, you have anyone uh, heard of that one? Caleb. Anyone? Whoa, it just popped whoa. up there. What is that? So, what is that? What? That's, that's the verse we were going to say. No way. Whoa. What? Whoa. What? what? Let's say that together. Let's say that together. And I don't know how it just showed up in the sky. Whoa. Man. God is good. Man. Proverbs 11, 24 through 25. Give freely and become more wealthy. Be stingy and lose everything. The generous will prosper. Those who refresh others will themselves be refreshed. Amen. That is... Woo! Joshua. Now, don't be modest. That is a good script. Did you write that one? You, come no, on. No, no, I didn't come write that. That's, that's a good one. But you know that's what? I want to be a giver. Look at that. I want to be a giver because I think in 2 Corinthians uh, chapter 9, verse 7, somewhere around yeah, there, yeah. it says God loves givers. Yeah, well, uh, I'm sorry, but I actually I think the scripture says he loves a cheerful giver. Cheerful? A cheerful giver. There's a difference? There's a there difference between a giver and a cheerful giver? 
You are the most cheerful people I know. I know it. Yeah, ah. You know why? You know why? Because I'm happy, happy, happy to give to my God. Look hey. at this. Look what? at this. This what? is a simple promise that God said. You know, that's just the beginning. Those are the what? smallest grapes we could find. And we could, barely, we could barely handle those. Do you guys have grapes that big? Because we don't have grapes that big. If that's normal for you, that's, cra that's crazy. There. But you know what else? They have better than we yeah, do. Yeah, that is nuts. That's nuts. You guys have a better covenant based upon hey, better man. promises better than we promises. do. Your blessing Jesus is, is going to have to blow that out of the water. Amen. You just have Fearful. to see it and believe it. Right? Amen. Amen. Man, that is so cool. Well, I think uh, it looks like it's about to rain, so we better uh, take up with this offering. Yeah, we better go yeah, ahead and yeah, collect this look, offering to, last time to our father. Remember last time the storm came, what, yeah. what happened. So you know what? I'll tell you what. This saw a verse earlier. It was Psalms 119, 162, and it said, I will rejoice that your word is one who's found great treasure. Great treasure. Great Hallelujah. treasure. Hallelujah. Let's rejoice at his word for a second about his promises as we give to him. Amen. Rejoice Amen. for a minute. Hallelujah. Father, we thank, thank you. you. We thank, thank you for your Father. word, that thank it is true. You watch over your word to perform true. it. We thank, thank you, Father. You. We rejoice over your word as one who found Amen. great Amen. treasure. Amen. We thank you, Father, that you give wealth to those who give freely. We thank you, God, that you love a cheerful giver. We are happy Woo! to give to you, happy, Father. Happy, happy we praise you. We praise yes, you. We praise you. Hallelujah. We, we, uh, we offer up this, this sacrifice to you, Father. And uh, we just Explain praise you. Well. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Oh. Whoa. Woo.
want some praise. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. We thank you right now. Every hand lifted. We thank you, Father, for all of these children. We thank you for Super Kids Sunday. We thank you, Father God. You so loved the world that you gave your only son. And we thank you, Father God, for the next generation. We thank you, Father God, that we will affect generations to come. We thank you, Father, the power that's impacted our lives, Father God. It will impact the world around us, not only our world immediately, but it will affect our kids and our grandkids. We thank you for it. In Jesus' name, what we're doing here is nothing to be taken lightly. We thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus, Father God, that our, our great, great grandchildren, Father God, will walk in the power of God. We thank you for the gospel, the good news in the Word of God that is the power of God unto salvation for every person that just simply believes it. And we thank you, Father, right now. Hallelujah, that we realize we are all special agents for Jesus on this planet and we thank you Father God we all have a special purpose a special plan we thank you Father God we're all unique one in Christ and we thank you Father God no one can get the other person's mission accomplished but we individually will accomplish our plan for God and then collectively we will see great things done we give you glory we thank you Father we do what the word says we rejoice at your word as one who found great treasure. Hallelujah! Yeah, you better act like it. Hallelujah! Yeah! Glory! 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 Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah! Yes, Lord. Hallelujah! Glory be to God. Father, we give you all the praise. Hallelujah. We will not give secular world LeBron James, Miami Heat, <laughs> they don't get our praise. You get our praise. We thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Father. You are greatly to be praised. On a Sunday morning, you are greatly, greatly, greatly to be praised. Hallelujah. Not the secular singers. They don't get our joy. They don't get our praise. You get all of our praise. We praise you with our whole heart this morning. And we thank you, Father, not only for every child, every young person represented here. We thank you, Father God, that if there's a person in here that needs to know you more, needs to find out your plan, needs to know your special mission for them, I thank you that they get it revealed to them today and they find their place and they fulfill their mission knowing that they're the only ones that can fulfill that mission that God has for them. We thank you for it right now. We give you all the praise in Jesus' name. Everybody say it. Amen. Now, Super Kids, you may all be seated. Let me get with the kids real fast. All right, Super Kids, I need the memory verse, and I need it real fast. I need it on the screen as quick as we can. Keep it ready to go the whole time. Super Kids, here we go. Everybody, one, two, three. I rejoice at your word. It, wait a Hold on just a second. Okay. I, I, wait a minute. I like to do kids' church, and I must reveal some things today. Go ahead with this front row all the way up if you could. I need my super kids. I, do I have any special agents here? Special agents. I need all the lights up right here. So I, now, I need all the special agents. I need you to understand about something about being... Oh, oh, I need you to understand something about being a special agent. Special agents. There's been a misconception that we're quiet. We try to sneak around and do everything quietly. But this is the reverse of what the world does. They do everything secretively and quietly. But what we want to do in the kingdom of God is do everything loud. So you may have been misinformed thinking that kids' church or church is a quiet place. Maybe you've looked around and you've thought that it's supposed to be quiet. Church, the kingdom of God, is to be... Everybody say... Yeah, you hear that? That was a rumble right there in the sky. It was wow. Now, everybody say wow. Yeah. Everybody say yeah. yeah. Now, everybody say the memory verse. I rejoice. I rejoice. At, your at your word. As one As who just found yeah. great, treasure. great treasure. Hit the power ball. Won the lottery. Found a pack of gold. Everybody say right now. I rejoice. Like one, like one. 
who has great treasure. I'm excited. Now, what I've come to do today, I have. I would like all of my spy kids to be on the front row right here, please. Spies, quickly, agents, special agents. Give me a little music for them coming down here. Dun, 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 dun. Now, right here. Here we go. Here we go. Here, where's it? Where's it? Where they go? Oh, here we go. There we go. Now, I need all of my. Now, I need you to sit in front of me because I have a special message just for you guys. All of you, quickly, quickly, quickly. You have to learn. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Can I take my shoes off? Yes, you can take your shoes off, special agent. You can have a seat right here. You can take your shoes off. Let me grab my word, because I rejoice at the word, as one who found great treasure. And I want everyone, we do, do we have a quiet seat prize? Where is I, these, I love these glasses. They are very, very dark. Do I see, is anybody moving right now? Who said that? What? Who said that? We, okay, our special agents, I need you right out here looking at me. Do not look at these people out here. Just looking right here. We have a quiet seat prize for every person, every person that is paying the most attention because this is a special assignment. I come on a mission, a special mission. And today, I have to reveal to you my true identity. See, some of you call me Roddy. <laughs> some of you call me Pastor Roddy. <laughs> and though those things may be true, yes, they're true, that's a far cry from who I really am. Today I'm sent on a special assignment as God's special agent with a special mission for every spy kid, special, a everybody say this with me, I am a special agent. I am special in God's eyes. Now what I have to reveal to you is very, very confidential. Very, very top secret. This is high level security information. I want everyone looking right here at my eyes. I hope you're looking because I can't see you. They're dark, very dark. I, who said that? Who's me? Okay. Now what I would like to do is to explain to you the mission that has been sought for years and years. The Bible says this. And the Bible is our secret book that has been held a secret for far too long. And what I would like to do is explain to you as special agents from God what it is contained in this wonderful Wonderful, some say top secret, mysterious book. However, God did not want this book to be mysterious, nor did He want it to be hidden. There's a scripture that says that all the things that people from generations past have longed for, God has hidden them in one person, in Christ Jesus. Now our mission for you today is to realize in Colossians chapter 2, it'll be on the screen. Colossians chapter, this great screen in the sky. Colossians chapter 2 verse 3. I want you all to read this. We have quiet seat prizes. I see some talking. Special agents mustn't talk while being talked to. <laughs> Don't laugh. Don't laugh. This is a very serious time. Now, Colossians 3, 2, it says, In whom are hidden all, audience say all, all, all the what? Treasures of wisdom and of knowledge. See, special agent, God's Word, and in Christ, God has hidden, it, the Bible says, all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. So special agents on special assignment with a special mission have a special message. And God has hidden this message, not from us, but now God has hidden all things for us. And all the adults can say, yeah. yes, I need your participation, please. This is, this is a very real message for everyone. Everyone has a special assignment. 
And in Christ, the Bible says, in Christ God hid everything it, that He wanted man to have. He put it in one man. We saw Caleb, we saw Joshua, and we saw them searching out, spying out the land, looking for something for their entire life. And what they were looking for, for was a very, very, very top level security clearance. And that is a relationship with God. And understand this, the Bible that we hold gives us all, say all, treasure. All treasure we have that God has for the world. He said, I'm not going to put it in an education. I'm not going to put it in money. I'm not going to put it in people. I'm going to find one man and his name is Jesus and I'm going to hide everything for my special agents. Are you a special agent? Are you excited about being a special agent? Yeah. Are you a special agent? Yeah. Are you excited about being a special agent? Yeah. You do not understand. I do not believe. You do not understand. You do not comprehend the magnitude of what I'm saying because, yes. The, are you excited about being a special agent? Yeah. Are you excited about being a special agent? Yeah. Are you excited about being a special agent? Yeah. Are you excited about being a special agent? Yeah. See, if we only knew the magnitude of how special we were and our mission that we are on, we would understand. See, this Bible that God has sent to the world was sent for us, not to be hidden from us, but God put special instruction in the Bible. He even made the Bible encrypted with special material to where a person could only understand the Bible if they were alive to God. See, a natural person reads the Bible and they see ink on paper. As special agents that are alive unto God, we see the Bible as alive and then God comes alive to us. Now, our mission on this planet must be found in His special, special book. And it is far more, we see, than just a book. This is not a book. It has been the best seller for years and listed as a book. This is a person. And it is Jesus Christ Himself. And the Bible says that God hid Himself. This Bible, look at this Bible. You see a book, but really God hid Himself in the Bible for us to discover. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that amazing? See, people that aren't excited about the Bible thinking that it is a book. This is a person and it is God in this book that wants to come and live on the inside of us. Now, we have an extreme, extreme emergency here that we must get extremely excited about. Because I just said, when you put this book in you, now you're putting God's life on the inside of you. Wait a minute, adults, they're going to help you in just a second, children. But I said when you put this book on the inside, you're hiding God on the inside of you. They're going to get excited here in just a second. I don't want an amen. I don't want a church amen. I want us to get excited like we just found great treasure. <laughs> yes, this is not the quiet minute. Now what I'd like to say, this, yes, we're going to get it shortly. We are going to become special, special agents for Jesus. How many of you guys were excited that God wanted to hide out in you? Yeah, God wanted to hide out in you. See, but this book is encrypted in a person. The Bible says that the people that are not spiritual cannot read the Bible. Before I became a special agent for God, I was unable to understand the Bible. I would turn in the book and I would read it. And I would say, what does this mean? It's so complicated. It contradicts itself so much. I don't understand. I don't understand. But God made it this way so that only His special agents now that are alive unto God can pick up their Bible, their book, their mission, and they read it and it becomes life to them. Amen. Now once you become alive unto God, see, not going to church, but now I really am a special special agent sent from heaven above with a mission on this planet to change the entire world. 
Yes, I am talking realistic. This is not this is not uh, the skit. This is reality. You're a special agent with a mission to radically change the world. Say amen. amen. There's one scripture I'd like to show you before I conclude. Second, Second Peter chapter one. Second Peter chapter one. Everyone looking. We have a where's that quiet seat price? I need my special agents now. Only time you're quiet is we're spoken to. Understand? Understand? Yes. Understand? Yes sir. yes, sir. Now we know when it's time to rejoice, don't we? Do we know when it's time to rejoice? Yes, Young people, do we know when it's time to rejoice? Yes. Now what I'd like to do is read this scripture. In Second Corinthians, Second Peter chapter one, verse two. Second Peter chapter one, actually verse three. Verse three says, His divine power has given unto us all things. All things that pertain to life and godliness through our through our knowledge of Him who called us to glory and to virtue. Now you may read that and you may say, well, great, God has a plan for me. How do I get it? The next Scripture is the clue. How many of you guys like to find out special clues, special information? High level clearance information, top secret information is in the next scripture. Verse 4 says, By which have been given unto us very great and precious what? Promises that by these we might become partakers of God's divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. How do I escape? What is my way out? How do I become God's special agent with God's mission on this earth? Our mission, young people, our mission, older people, is this, to hide God Himself on the inside of us. See, Caleb and Joshua, most of the people in the world, they're looking for God. God came looking for you. And God wanted to hide Himself out somewhere. He put Himself in a book. And then He wanted to put Himself in us so that now, by these very great and precious promises, now I can act just like God. See, there was a man and a woman who lost this a long time ago. They were created in His image and in God's likeness, and they lost the image, lost the likeness. Jesus came so that now the Word made flesh would come alive in us again, and now we're just like God on the earth again. Everybody say, I am. Very special. Very special. I am an agent sit down from above, from heaven. I am from the Father to change my world. I am special agent number one for God. High level information has been revealed to me today. I now know that my God, He lives in His Word. And His Word, it lives in me. I am very special. God lives in me. I am on a great mission to radically change this world. Did you know that I'm special? Every head bowed, please. See, God's mission for all of you is this. He was not hiding from us anymore. He wanted to hide in us and take up residence in us. I mentioned to you Already, that God says when you become spiritually alive, now you open up His book and it comes alive to you. And then you see the Word and you get extremely happy because you know it's not just ink on paper, but it is your life. You can do all things through Christ. You are alive unto Him. You're more than a conqueror. You're blessed in the city. You're blessed in the field. Now, it would be a book, it would be a good book, but now it is your life, special agents. Now, with all of you, every head bowed. Every head bowed. You can bow your head now. Every, every head bowed. Or you can look at me, it doesn't matter. 
<laughs> Everyone keeps looking so you can look. <laughs> Amen. Adults should be praying right now. You should be praying pretty hard. Your young people. Realizing their mission. There may, be, there may be adults in the crowd today. You may think, what's my purpose? What's my plan? God has a special mission for you. He has a special plan for you. It may be to pastor. It may be to run a business. It may be to just be a light shining in your dark world. But His mission for you is extremely important to the master plan of everything that God has done. Now what I would like to do is ask all of you, like I said, when you become God's special agent, Special agent. He gives you that special purpose and that special plan. This special book comes alive. And we become spiritually alive. Now, it becomes my purpose and my plan. I would like to ask all of you young people, I want everyone looking at me. Now, since you're looking around now, I want you to look here. If you don't know that you're God's special agent right now, you've never asked God to come and live on the inside of you, we call this being born again, being saved. Asking Jesus to come live in our heart. If you're not sure that you're God's special agent with a special purpose, with a special plan, I want you to raise your hand. I want to pray with you right now. I want to pray with you right now. I see your hand. Are you God's special agent? I see yours and yours. Anyone else? Yes, it's good. They all See, everyone wants to be special with a purpose and a plan. Now all of you, if you could, to have your hand up, I would like you to put your hand down. Now adults, I'd like to ask you, if you could, with every head bowed, every eye closed, God has a mission for you, a plan for you. Some of us have been missing out on it for years and years and years. God's intention for placing you on this planet was not to be successful in this. His intention for putting you on this planet was not just so you could have a family and have kids and grandkids. His mission was to make you special and to get involved in His special plan, in His special word for your life. Not to go to church. You could go to church and miss God's plan altogether. Now adults, I'd ask you this. Have you become God's agent for change? His agent to change your house, to change your marriage, to change your kids, to change your family, to change your community. This is a serious moment for the adult. Yes, there's stuff on the walls, there's confetti on the floor, but today can be your day. I chose to do it to 23 years old. Little did I know what I was getting involved in. It really is a special person on a special assignment. The reality of the message. The special part of it is that God sent you here with a plan that only you can do. Every person. We've had a lot of kids already said they want to jump in on this special plan. But today, you say, what a better day than at a super kid Sunday to say, you know what? This is my time. I have a plan. I have a purpose. Some people don't understand super kid Sunday. We're not here just to reach a church group. We're here to reach the next generation. And to let them realize that with God living on the inside of them, there is not one thing they can't do. They need to see adults that know this. They need to be led by people and adults who know that we're all special agents with supernatural power. Did you see the scripture? It said now we can walk into His divine nature. Amazing scripture. I would ask you right now, adults, and you should all be praying if you are already a special agent. But if you don't know for sure, you know Jesus. God can speak to you at any time. At any time. You may have come and you may have saw the lights. You may have said, oh, it's a kid's service. No, it's your service as well. And you can make a decision today to call out on Jesus today. I would ask you right now, if you're not sure that you know Jesus, you're not sure that He's living on the inside, you're not sure you're walking out God's plan for your life, I would ask you to raise your hand right now and I'll pray with you as well. Any person in this room, right now, right now, I see your hand. You don't have to leave it up. You don't have to leave it up. You want to walk out, God. It's time to go ahead and get off of your plan and get on God's plan. Anyone else? We'll pray with anyone. You got to be bold. Yeah, I see yours. I see yours. 
You're in the right place at the right time. With the right people. You're in the right place at the right time with all the right people. Amen. I said, anyone else? It's your day. You're not here by accident. God sent you in here today, not by accident. Everything, the Bible says, God directs our steps. He orders our path. See, why do we want adults who will, who will become God's special agent? We have to have somebody leading these special children. Amen. Yeah, they may be your children. They may be, they may be just people in your life. But God needs His special agent to have special power and ability. What greater power than to have God Himself live on the inside of us? While I pray this with the young people, I want all of you that just prayed this, that just lifted your hand. And there were three to four that lifted your hand as adults. I want everyone now, I want everyone here to pray this prayer with me. Everyone that I'm looking at, everyone in the crowd, you can bow your head or you can leave it up. It really doesn't matter. Say this with me. Say, Father God, I come to You in Jesus' name. Your word says, if I believe in my heart and I confess with my mouth that Jesus is Lord, that I will be saved. Thank you, Father. I do believe and I do confess that Jesus is Lord of my life. And I am right now born again, special agent from heaven with a mission from heaven that only I can accomplish but with God living in me all things are possible because I believe right now I thank you for your word and I rejoice at your word like one who found great treasure in Jesus name thank you father amen now I rejoice now I rejoice now I rejoice yeah! What are we here to do? We're on a mission. Give me some dun 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 dun. Give me some music. Dun 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 dun. Give me some some music. Dun dun dun. Special agent. Wait a minute. Praise the Lord. Wait a minute. Danielle, we have a special video for special agents on a special mission. I should get the entire. Y'all can have a seat and watch the screen. Watch the screen. This is your next mission. Share the gospel of Jesus Christ to every creature. The gospel is good news. Share the good news of Jesus to the entire world. It is very important you complete this mission. If you do not complete this mission, the world will self-destruct in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Faith has been detected. Everybody say faith. faith has been detected. I have faith to change the world right now. I'm special. I rejoice at God's word as one who found great treasure. I don't talk about it. I do it. Some of y'all know where I'm going right now. We're going to rejoice right now. Stand up out here and act like you're happy. Hallelujah. Thank you for these children. Rejoice. Hallelujah! Hold on just a second. I want you to act like... Now, I like the Scripture, and so I threw it in right there, and I got a couple of looks there for a second, but the Scripture says, I rejoice at your word as one who found great treasure. Great treasure actually means great wealth, and I threw this in there. How would you act if you just won the Powerball, which we don't play, but we won it? Somebody gave us a winning ticket. Or you won the lottery. Or you won 100 million, trillion, gabillion, zillion dollars. How would you act? See, some of you are telling on yourself right now. Because I said, how would you act if you won that much? I said, God of all creation wants to come and live in us. And it says he's going to do it by his word. Now, how would you act? <laughs> yeah! See, 
It's part of believing that is acting like you really believe. Special agents knowing their special purpose are now tapping into every palm promise. And how do you do it? By your joy. If you really believe you really have God living in you, your joy will be evident to everyone around Rejoice. Shake somebody's hand. Crank something loud, loud, loud. And let's get ready to go do our mission right now. Yes. Yeah.